This video is based on new metaheuristic optimization algorithm named as donkey and smuggler optimization algorithm. In this video, we will try to understand what is this algorithm all about, how it is breaking, various steps used in this algorithm, mathematical models and flow chart, and how we can update agent's position in the search space and how we can find out the optimal solution for the different optimization problems using this algorithm. First of all, as you can see here, donkey and smuggler optimization algorithm is introduced in 2019. It is a nature-inspired population-based metaheuristic optimization algorithm. And we know that nature-inspired optimization algorithms are inspired by either animals, birds, plants, or insects. This algorithm is basically inspired by the donkey's behavior in the real life. Donkey and smuggler optimization algorithm mimic the transportation behavior of donkey's movement in the real life. Here, this behavior includes the route searching and route selection for the donkey's movement by their owners. Author implemented the route search and route selection behavior in this algorithm to find out the optimal solution for the different optimization problems. This algorithm is also tested on different benchmark test functions and you can see here it is also implemented to solve different real-world optimization problems for example traveling salesman problem, packet routing and ambulance routing. Donkey and Smuggler optimization algorithm provides best results as comparison with the existing metaheuristic optimization algorithms. Now as this algorithm is inspired by the donkey searching behavior in the real life, so here you can see we have two important modes used in this algorithm, donkey mode and smuggler mode. First we will try to understand donkey mode and in the donkey mode we will try to understand donkey's behavior in their real life so that we can easily understand how this algorithm is working. Donkey that is the social animal and male donkey also known as Jack and female donkey also known as Jenny or Janet and they like to eat grass or desert plants and here you can see we have different types of donkeys wild donkey, feral donkey and domesticated donkeys Bile donkeys are the largest one. You can see their height 125 centimeter, weight is about 250 kilogram. And feral donkeys are smaller than wild donkeys. And domesticated donkeys are found all over the world. And they are the smallest one. You can see their height and weight is about in between 125 and 180 kg. Now you can see here donkeys are used as barking animals worldwide and they are used for bark, thrashing, in transportation, in farming, for riding and they are also used to pull carts and donkeys can pull carts faster than oxes and mainly they are used for the construction bark in the hilly areas. You can see here in the hilly areas they are used to carry the heavy loaded stuff to the workers and in different countries they are also used to protect sheep herds from the wild animals like wolf and foxes. There are more than 40 million donkeys worldwide and around 3.5 million donkeys are slaughtered each year for meat worldwide. Please be kind with animals do not kill innocent souls for food pleasures. Now we will try to understand the donkey's behavior. Donkey that is the social animal and they live in the groups. And next you can see here they have very good memory. They love to learn and every time you interact with donkey they will learn something from you as they learn quickly. Now you can see here donkeys are less expressive as comparison with horses. It is very hard to understand donkeys' expressions and they often use sound and accents to express their emotions. Next you can see here they can travel long distance and they can travel long distance even without owners 
guidance because they have very good memory and they can remember the familiar routes. Next you can see here they support each other. Donkeys are very friendly and they easily mix up with other animals and with each other and they also support each other in the difficult time and they also fight back if they feel danger. Next you can see here they run away from the people or situation that caused them pain in the past. Here you can see they run away from the people and here you can see they fight back when they feel danger. They run away from the people but if they feel any danger they will fight back. Now last one you can see here they commit suicide if their owner is selfish. Yes. In the real life you have seen donkeys are used for cart pulling and they are also used to deliver goods in the market and at different destinations in the, and in the hilly areas for the construction to carry heavy load. If the donkey owner is very selfish, he is overloading the cart that is very hard to pull for the donkey or causing any physical pain or not treating them right in such situations donkey decide to commit suicide and they decide to end their miserable lives and they hit to death so please be kind with animals if you are using them for personal benefits at least treat them right do not cause any suffering to them they also deserve care and kindness next you can see here in this algorithm, different donkey's behaviors are implemented to find out the optimal solution. As we know that they live in the groups, so we will consider the horse group as the population size in this algorithm. And next you can see donkey behavior, they run away from the people that caused them pain in the past. Next behavior you can see here, they run away from the people who caused them pain in the past. So here this behavior is implemented as run mode. So in this case donkey will change the path and next behavior you can see here they support each other as they are very friendly easily mix up with each other and support each other in the difficult time and this behavior implemented as pace and sport next we have commit suicide if the owner is selfish and not treating them right they will commit suicide and this is implemented as pace and suicide now you can see here in this algorithm we have two important modes donkey mode that is the adaptive mode and smuggler mode that is the non-adaptive mode we already discussed about donkeys now we will try to understand the smuggler role in this algorithm because this algorithm is named as donkey and smuggler optimization algorithm so now we will try to understand the smuggler's role in this algorithm so as we already discussed that donkeys have very good memory, they love to learn, they can remember the familiar routes and they can travel long distance and they can travel without owners guidance on the familiar routes. Smugglers, that's why donkey is the best animals for the smugglers to conduct their business. Smugglers use donkeys to deliver their smuggling products for example drugs liquors and other smuggling products from one source to destination or on the borders and as donkey can remember the routes so they can travel without the smugglers guidelines so here smugglers are using donkeys for their business. They can deliver goods and their smuggling products from the border and other. Now you can see here we have smuggler, donkey and destination. Now we will try to understand how smugglers are using donkeys to conduct their business. First you can see here, first smuggler ride the horse and they will load the donkey with their smuggling products. Now you can see we have the loaded donkey with the products and now donkey is released by the smuggler to reach the destination and here you can see we have the destination. Now in between you can see here 
Now first case you can see here we have the loaded donkey and this is the shortest route the donkey can take from source to destination. So this is first case when there is no obstacle in between donkey can easily move from source to destination. Now second case you can see here we have the loaded donkey and you can see the hurdle in between that is the police and here this is the danger for the smugglers and in this case you can see here we already discussed that donkey run away from the people who caused them pain in the past. Now in second case in order to protect their smuggling products from the police they already trained donkeys for such cases donkeys are already trained and we know that donkeys run away from people who gave them pain in the past during training smugglers start beating donkeys in police uniform so next time whenever the donkey will encounter with people in uniform they will change their route they will run away and they will change their route and they will take another route to reach destination so this is the smuggler mode for the donkey smuggler will load the donkey with goods and select the best route for the donkey from source to destination they will measure the time route hurdles and other and after that they will release the donkey to reach the destination so in this algorithm we have two modes to find out the optimal solution smuggler mode and donkey mode in the smuggler mode you can see here first we will initialize the parameters for each solution we will initialize the donkey's position in the search space and then for each donkey we will find out the fitness value using this function and after that we will find out the best solution among all and we will send the donkey next we have the donkey mode and here you know after smuggler mode you can see we have the donkey mode in the smuggler mode the best solution is selected and the donkey is sent now in the donkey mode we will choose the best solution that is defined in the smugglers mode and we will again reevaluate the best solution fitness value and we will check whether it is the better solution or not as you can see here in the case one when the donkey is released by the smuggler we have source and destination if there is no hurdle in between then donkey is easily moved from source to destination but in case here we have a hurdle in between we have danger for the donkey and for the products so here in this case donkey will choose another route so that is implemented in this step we will again check whether the fitness value that is defined by smugglers mode is better or not if the current best solution is not good it means there is any hurdle in between so if the current best solution is not good it means there is a hurdle in between and we need to change the route for the donkey and here different donkey's behaviors are implemented in this case like run face and suicide face and sport here we have run action here again we will evaluate the population fitness values and then we will update the best solution next we have face and suicide here we will choose the second best solution as the best solution for example you can see here this is the this is the first best solution that is given by smuggler it means this is the route selected by the smuggler for the donkey now we have hurdle in between so we need another route it means we have another best solution in the population so we will rearrange the population and we will select the second best solution now so here you can see 
face and suicide it means choose the second best solution as the best solution until the main route that is the first solution is obtained next we have face and sport here we will use the second best solution to support the best solution as in the matter heuristic optimization we update the agents with respect to the best solution position so again we will update the donkey's position with respect to the best solution found so this is the flow chart for this algorithm first we have the smuggler mode in the smuggler mode smuggler will select the best route for the donkey that is safe and it will take less time after all measurement the best route for the donkey is selected and then donkey is released so it means we will evaluate the population fitness values and we will select the best among all and then we will release the donkey after that in the donkey mode again we will reevaluate the best solution that is defined by smugglers mode whether it is good or not if it is not good if that solution is not good it means we need to do any change then we will check whether we will use the run mode face and sport and face and suicide to find out the best solution we will use different donkey's behavior to find out the best solution again we will check whether run mode suicide mode and face and sport mode and in the end we will obtain the best solution and again we will repeat the loop and we will check the solution until the stopping criteria is met we will repeat this loop and in the end we will display the best solution that is obtained in the last iteration so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching